Chapter 10, Room Service. Via Skeletta, no way, dude. Or Villa, I guess, Villa Skeletta. Bro, that's dope. We've got our own Villa now. Bit of an upgrade from our last tiny little apartment. We're gonna have to, uh... Where's this phone at? We're gonna have to explore this thing a little bit. Uh, hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. I mean, this this is pretty nice, dude. We've got a little kitchen here. I don't know if I like the colors. That seems a little bit odd. Fireplace with the fire rolling. Nice view of the street. American flag hanging outside. Let's see what's over here. It's going to be the bathroom, most likely. I mean, it's dated, but obviously this was way back in the day. Another bathroom with his and hers, bro. Oh my goodness, where's our closet at? Where can we even change clothes? I would assume this is the closet, but it's not letting me do anything. Our pool is in the side yard? That's odd. And it's not its not fenced off from the people on the street. That's, that's really weird. Bro, where do I find a closet? Here we go. All right, I'm gonna say, let's go with the tailored suit and overcoat. Let's make sure we look good. I mean, we're, we're living this life now, you know what I mean? We're, we're about that lifestyle. Um, what happened to my car? That like Thunderbird thing that we had? Bro, this is dope. It's real, like this is a, a huge safety hazard though. Some little kid walking up the street just comes and jumps in your pool. Do we even have a beach? Homie, this is insane. Oh, here she is right here, okay. So they do have her ready for us. I appreciate that, I was worried we, uh, I was worried we weren't gonna have her anymore. What's up, what's up, chica? You're, you're kinda, dude, this, this sucks. It's a nice house, it's on the water and everything, that's, that's great and all, but being on a major street with a bunch of pedestrians walking in your driveway, that's, that's not ideal. Cops are going that way. Anyway, we're going to go meet up with these guys. It sounds like we could potentially have some trouble in the neighborhood. I don't know. Something's going down, so we're going to go find out. It's probably not something that we can't handle. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Woo! We got caught by the cops. We're speeding. They are going to be able to keep up with us, though. I'm not too worried about it. Here we go, baby. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying not to damage this thing, dude. She's so... Look at that. We just pull off from the cops on a single corner. Like, nobody can touch us out here, bro. This is insane. One thing we don't want to do is have the cops get our plate, though, so that we're wanted in this car, because obviously... Well, I guess we could probably... Probably change the paint, huh? Whew, that was close. I always put the, the governor on when we want to break really quickly. It works better than actually breaking. But yeah, I was going to say... They got the plates, we wouldn't be able to use this car anymore, but I guess technically all we have to do is uh, just change the color, although I like the black and red. Bro, he's still in this old apartment. I mean, it's kind of a nice apartment. It's not that old. I'll, I'll give him that, but still, living in an apartment is not quite the same as uh, living in, in Villa Scaletto, bro. We, uh... We hit the big time, I guess. With a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greasers, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm gonna be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's gonna act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're gonna take out Clemente? Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. 
This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight <laughs> in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put C4. that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. For Christ's sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, Dynamite. So, now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building. But everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. <laughs> Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. What kind of GTA All style stuff well. is this? I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. So we're planting explosives in a hotel room and then gonna detonate it from the window washing platform outside. Take Joe's car and drive Joe and Marty to the Empire Arms hey, Hotel. Hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. Gabish. Hey, if you need it, I got my piece right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Well. I guess we're leaving our car here, unfortunately. I don't know if we're going to be able to come back and get it one day, but... We'll take my car. All right, I'll drive. Where's his garage? Over here. I don't think, uh, I don't think that two-seater is going to be enough for the three of us, so... It's been nice knowing you, girl. I knew this day was going to come eventually, but... We'll see you on the other side. Of course, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together. Explosives? <laughs> yeah. For a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot. And use the back entrance. Okay, so don't wreck on the way there. Try not to get caught by the cops. Let's just drive like a normal person and get there in one piece. Fellas, come on, tell me what's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh? Come on. Well, what are you? Kid, shut up. I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious. You know, all this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure. Starting to get going a little bit fast here for my taste, so we're gonna. Oh, the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. Okay. Seen by the cops. Overall, it's going pretty well so far. This thing gets up there, dude. Right, this thing's got some speed to the it. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Okay. So we're gonna come in this way. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. But we're gonna have explosives on us. All right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us. But that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. 
Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. I feel bad for this kid. I don't want something bad to happen to him. I feel like he's we'll grab some hotel not really made for this line of work. Then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Ah, Seriously. so we are going to have disguises. When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. This is cool. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. I don't know, dude. I don't like it. Gotta find the cleaner's uniforms. Ah, dude, this shit. is getting good. Closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck. Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. There's gotta be another way in. Here we are. Well, where is he? He go on smoke break. Looking for some workers uniforms. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't think we're supposed to be down here, but you need to clean his uniform to sneak through the hotel. What's up, buddy? Look, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. Where are we supposed to grab these from? See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Right here? All right. Change into the cleaner's uniforms. No big deal. Got a new job. One more thing. Here, put this on. Getting out of the crime business. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. <laughs> Just put it on. Great. Bro, what? Are we gonna have a fake mustache on? Oh, come on, dude. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. It's just a part of the job. Let's go. Move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Down for that. Let's hit the button. We're good to go. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. <laughs> yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. Like what, blood? You ain't gonna ask what it is or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. <laughs> There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span and then get the fuck out of there. Don't get recognized by Clemente's guys. Mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. We got ladies up in here, too? One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. 
about five or six times. <laughs> so now there's blood all over the fucking place, and we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up, and you gotta make it snappy. Sir, yes, sir. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand. Oh, shit. Uh, the, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the I don't know if I trust him to be plus. Putting this together. The red and match. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Scrub the stains, put your back into it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go already. Clean this shit up. I feel like getting blood on a white carpet wouldn't be an easy thing to do. But it looks like we did a good job. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you just can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Got to be careful. Don't get seen. Don't get seen. We're good to go. That's Clementi. We could take him out right now if we had a gun. Oh, we're yeah, fine. We'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. Dude, I'm actually really excited about this. Like, this is... This is cool. There have been a couple of really cool missions in this game so far. The... the Robbing the government one. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I gotta put so many fucking stairs? Come on, bro. Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. It nice. always does. Piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> so what are we gonna do now? We just gonna fight him? Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, Vito. He's down. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Who am I getting shot by? Oh, there's a guy on the left. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat. There now. Looks like we might have guys on the right. Back me up, Vito. Where are we going, brother? Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. He's up top. Come on, baby. That bloom. Don't don't do me dirty. Got him. Looks like there might be another one. Are we supposed to? Are we supposed to push them? Got him. Be careful. There might be more in them. I'm not worried about it. All right, so this is good. I thought we were gonna have to fight our way out of here, but we're just having to fight these guys oh, up top. Oh, I thought our bomb wasn't gonna work or something. I was gonna be sad, dude. I won't want to get on your bad side. Just walk right back into my aim, bro. I can see the the bullet hole on the wall behind him. Dude, this is sick. This extendo mag. I like it.
that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Come on, let's go. Catch up. Woo. We're okay. He's down. Right into me, baby. That's two hits. One more and he should be good. He's dead. Okay. That takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Ah, buildings like this kind of... Oh, those are some big old biddies. And we're so high up. Nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window wash them. Oh my gosh, dude. Those, those were some cans and a half. How do we raise this platform? Gotta use this thing. Bring her on up. Don't worry, we're just here to do a little bit of cleaning on the windows. Oh. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my... Oh, shit. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. Alright, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. Oh man! I'm sorry, brother. I gotta do this, dude. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. I like that we didn't kill him, though. He's getting his legs, too. Right. Okay, get on. We got work to do. En enjoy your nap, bro. You're still getting, I mean, he's still on the clock. He just How gets to chill now. Enough. enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, we're going to be dead before we hit the ground. Oh, she just slapped him for touching her bar. Okay, this is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. Bro, there's no way this would work. These guys would be so upset about this. If they were really having like a big meeting look at these cutscenes this is cool okay I see you looking like a movie out here uh, that's it okay got it take us up a bit hey back some bitch Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. I hope this works. These assholes ain't. Ooh. What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it, right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. Gonna take her back down? That's probably a bad idea. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Good night, brother. Kill Clementi, it says. I didn't do anything. No! Bust the water down his martini. What are you scared of? Got him. Show yourself. Watch out. Behind him, glass wall. Bro. Oh, easy. He's 
dead. We might have somebody behind us. Definitely somebody right there as well. I see you a bottle in your hand, I'll shoot you myself. More guys shooting through the glass walls. He's down. I'm a little bit worried about the ammo situation. We don't have a ton of ammo. I got the right side. Well, that was dangerous. I'm kicking it down. He's down. Bro, he kicked him out the freaking window. We got the cops on us. I'm going in. We gotta go, Joe. Oh, shit. This way, Vito. You won't get through there. Yo, fuck it. Ah, fuck. The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I thought it was rain. Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. We're okay so far. They're gonna take that elevator down the kid. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two, <laughs> one. Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. The kid's gonna be downstairs. Dude, no. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Just a cozy elevator ride. Two bros hanging out. Enjoying each other's company and now here we go again. Watch it, up there! Back me up, please. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat! Gotta get that guy off his shotgun. Get that asshole on the catwalk. Oh, shit, asshole. That's the fucking best you got. Bro. I am almost dead right now. Come on. Marty's out there all alone. Nobody in there. We're good. Oh. Hello. We got the shotgun. Let me let me load this thing real quick. Going in. Hello. We got guys up top. We got guys out here. He's down. He's dead, but we're almost dead too. My goodness, dude, this is terrifying. Where else are we getting shot from? Ah. Hello, buddy. What you doing camping? Nobody? We're good. Just try to be safe. Marty. No. No. Fuck. No. He's dead, Vito. Choke him out. Got to get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. I knew it. Let's go. I'm going to kill that fuck. I freaking called it. I, dude, he just, he wasn't cut out. Oh, man. You think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow Clement and the other guy. You know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the car. No, don't worry about it. So Clementi's in the black car. We want to make sure we He's follow the, the black car. car. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? There goes one of them. Nice. Nice job. Clemente's next. Be careful, Vito. Woo! We're on him. About to put my GTA racing skills to the test, baby. Here we go. Gonna do some pit maneuvers. 
or run into them and hurt us even more. Yeah, where are all the where are all the police at? We're just straight up hot pursuit car chase. Dude, if you don't if you don't kill him here. If you don't if you don't kill him here, brother. I mean, I'll do all the work myself if you need me to. That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. This is for Marty. Now it's over. Let's go to my place. Bro, this game is insane. You want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left him there. Okay, okay. what about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. That's the sad. Thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too! Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. <laughs> Bro, I like... So I, I enjoyed Mafia 3. I really did. I thought it was a good game. It got a little bit repetitive, but I enjoyed it. I now totally understand why everybody loves this game, bro. Everybody talks about how Mafia 2 is so much better than Mafia 3. Our car is not here, dang it, dude. Um, yeah, everybody talks about that, and I, I didn't really know why, but like, can you, like, this game is already amazing. I don't care. Graphics are not everything. It's not the most beautiful game ever, because it's old, but it's still, it's, it's cool, without a doubt. Can you imagine this game if they did it in current gen? Consoles, current gen tech, current gen graphics, that sort of thing, bro. This would be insane. Anyway, grabbed our car, barely got out of there in time. It's time to head home. We're getting paid in the morning when we stop by the Falcon, but uh, for now, that was a job. Waking up to a phone call here. We made it home. I wonder what this is about. We're getting called at night. Dude, I hate when this phone rings, man. Never brings good news. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. He's drinking his pain away. Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody <laughs> or somebody calls the police? Veto, you got to come.
come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Well, this is absolutely ridiculous. We're gonna go pick our drunk friend up. I'm just gonna put on our leather jacket. Works for me. He's out there drinking and partying and, well, actually, probably not partying, but drinking. Because his friend died. Honestly, of all the dumb stuff Joe does, this is probably the most reasonable. Like, I, I understand, but... You don't, you don't go get drunk and start waving your gun around. This, this could end poorly. This is the local watering hole, I guess? I don't think we've been here before. Vito, you hear? Right. Vito. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. <laughs> okay, lock that door. You just give me a minute, bro. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito. About time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe. I wonder why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Whoa! Nice. He killed him! You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Dude. <sighs> Are you serious? How do we... Oh, we gotta go out the back door. Probably a good idea. Probably probably not smart to go out the front door. I... I feel bad, man. Look at him. Above and beyond the call of duty. Dude, he was a war veteran. Are you serious? <sighs> Poor guy. Freaking Joe, dude. <laughs> Frickin' Joe. Now we're gonna take him home. Hopefully no cops find out that we have a body in the back seat. Got a cop on our left right here. Gotta be careful about that. Dude, this is... Right when I was complimenting him, saying that like he had some good character to be this sad and this roughed up about the loss of his friend. It's understandable, relatable. He goes and kills somebody. Might as well put some music on, lighten the mood a little bit. We've got a long drive ahead of us. I'm wondering how we're gonna get rid of this body. I feel bad, dude. Stuffed him in the trunk of his own car and... <laughs> All right, Joe, try not to cause any more problems, brother. This is beyond ridiculous. Right, here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. <laughs> and hey, I'm sorry about Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Now what are we gonna do with this body? Dump the body and be discreet. Looks like we're taking him to uh to the junkyard where everything started, where we got our first uh our first job and we're gonna put it in the press, dude. Are you kidding me? Bro, this would be so disgusting. Just blood and guts everywhere. Is this it? Oh, shit.
Okay. It just straight up disappeared. I don't think that's how those things work, but uh, we'll, we'll take it. All right. Let's see if we can actually go home and enjoy a nice night's sleep. 